Morning, everybody. It's 831 on this Wednesday morning, and this is your pre-opening comment. And uh, I apologize for yesterday, but I had a total meltdown in my computer. Uh, E-Trade evidently had an update that was automatically downloaded to my platform, and one of the files was what they called unverified. So basically, I've had to take all of the um, all of the cybersecurity stuff off my computer in order to get it to accept that. Okay, so uh, Asia and Europe are both lower following our market. Uh, the only um, economic uh, news that we have this morning are the mortgage apps, which were down 10.6 versus last week's down 2.4. But we do have a bunch of uh, earnings to discuss both from yesterday and this morning. Uh, also, we have the FOMC minutes, uh, which come out at 2 o'clock. And the futures right now at 7.30, the Dow was down 50, currently down 70 right now. Uh, NASDAQ was uh, down 90, now down 96. And the S&P was down 11, now down 13. Okay, so let's go back to yesterday's close because some of these moves are just unbelievable. Palo Alto Networks with a beat top and bottom line gave poor guidance. It had closed at 366.09, down 37 cents, uh, and it traded slightly higher to 375 on the headline, but then went down to 282. Um, this morning, it has continued. It's 275.30, and that's down almost $91. Uh, Toll Brothers, with a beat, had closed 103.55, up $1.37. Um, also traded up, uh, finished at 106.75, up. 457 and continues this morning 107 and a half up 395. Another loser, Teladoc, with a miss on revenues and poor guidance. It had closed at 2044 down 54 cents, traded down to 1707 and has continued this morning. Last is 16. 09 down 440 or 21%. International flavors and fragrances, one of the old nifty 50 with a miss and uh, a downgrade. Uh, the stock had closed at 82.03, traded down to 72. Uh, last night was looking like 76 down five and change continued lower 75 14 down 689 or 8.4 percent and uh, Selenese, which is a chemical company had closed at um, 149.37 traded down to 138 down 13 and change but has bounced very smartly here uh, now 145. It's only down um, 38 cents. As far as this morning, we have Solar Edge with very poor guidance. Uh, the stock uh, is currently trading 67.83, and that's down 16.59 or 20. The chart on the screen, I'm sure everybody will be pleased with this. Uh, this is the Nat Gas. Uh, we bought it yesterday, uh, slightly uh, right after the open, versus uh, about 163 or so. Um, it rallied hard at the end of the day yesterday, and uh, this morning, higher, high, higher, low. Uh, we're trading at 180.30. Um, and that's up about 15 and a half cents or 9.6 percent. We have traded as high as um, 183.80. 
uh, so uh, has been about three dollars higher. Uh, UNG, which is how we are playing this, uh, closed yesterday around uh, fourteen seventy seven, I believe. Currently trading sixteen oh eight, up a dollar thirty one. The options that we paid forty seven and forty eight cents for closed at sixty five. Um, I would expect to see them open sharply higher. I've already issued the sell one half on the 100% up rule. So uh, we'll have to see uh, what we get for those first thing in the morning. Um, I think that this could easily get to $2 or possibly higher. Um, Yesterday I said I thought that uh, we could get up to about $18 on the uh, UNG. So um, I, I'd like to sit with the second half unless it starts showing weakness. You know, we've had runs before uh, and we've had failures be- before. So I'm going to keep my finger, finger on the trigger with this one. As far as the rest of the uh, stock, I mean, the uh, futures markets, we have grains lower. We have oil down another 16 cents, but nothing overwhelming there. Uh, Heating oil down about a penny, gasoline up about 1.3%. We have the gold down a little over a dollar, silver down about 7 cents. Uh, Those options that we sold as high as 153 to 155 yesterday, I mean the Friday, uh, closed at $1.24, so I'm fairly satisfied that we got out of there at the right time. Uh, Let's see, Uh, the dollar is slightly higher, Uh, bonds are unchanged after a decent recovery yesterday. Um, They were down, let me just show you, they were down more during the day, but uh, popped up in the late afternoon, this is yesterday, this is today, we seem to be consolidating around this 118 area. Um, If we hold here and start higher, I'd expect to see 120 again in the very near term. But clearly, a rate cut in March is totally off the table. Uh, Remember, we have uh, FOMC at 2 o'clock, and after the close, we have the big name, uh, and that would be NVIDIA reporting. Um, That one has already come down. Yesterday, uh, it was uh, down 31 to 694 and change. Uh, This morning, it's down another 13 to 680. Uh, There's excellent support for it in this 630 area. Um, I don't know that we'll get there, but, uh, you know, um, there are some pretty high expectations for this. And since the first of the year, it's gone from 473 to a high of 746. So um, we could give up a little more or, frankly, uh, you know, turn on a dime and move higher. I would say that resistance here is about 730, 735 right in this area. All right, folks, have a good day. Be careful out there. And uh, I hope most of you participated in that UNG trade.